Hi, Cancer. I hope you guys are doing well. It's very interesting. I've been getting mixed energy for you guys. Um, I'm just going to start shuffling as we talk. Just do it that way. Um, because you should really be very high energy right now and wanting to get things done. Um, but I feel like some of you need to rest during this time. You guys do very well with, with Virgo energy because even though they're an earth sign and you're a water sign, um, it's very similar. It's very, very similar um, type of energy. Now, I know that we're still doing the North Node stuff, so that could be something that's, a, that's um, weighing on you through all of this, um, especially, you know, when there are, as like, hard aspects that are happening to the Virgo energy. But this is a great time for you guys to... Um, manifest things and communicate and bring things into fruition and um, like travel and do the things that you really want to do. Um, okay, but there are some of you and some aspects of this energy that like maybe it's like an like an in and out thing where like one day you're feeling really good and the next day you're like I need to rest. Um, if you're concerned about money, if you're concerned about where you're going, we've been talking about working smarter and not faster or harder, right? So when it comes to putting yourself out there, instead of hustling so much, instead of feeling like you're constantly have to be on the go, 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 which is what this energy can do to you, um, take a step back and see where if maybe you rested a little bit because I, I mean you guys are um sometimes more of perfectionist than a virgo is you know like a virgo it like they're perfectionists where they want to be right it's not like where everything virgos aren't perfectionists in everything they have it's like OCD. <laughs> it's like um, attention deficit disorder when it comes, like they can focus and be perfectionist about certain aspects and areas of their life. For you guys, it's literally, if it doesn't look right, you're going to scrap the whole project and start all over again from the very beginning until you get it right. And that's almost in every aspect in every area, including when you're trying to be there for other people and like heal other people, right? If, 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 you feel like you're failing in healing someone in some way, shape, or form, you're going you're gonna to beat yourself up for that person not being fixed, right? Quote, unquote, fixed. So um, this doesn't have to be a bad month. But let's look at the cards and we'll talk, okay? Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, see what I mean? And the Magician. If you rest a little bit more, instead of hustling, just align yourself to the path that you're trying to take. Align yourself to the areas of your life that you really want to see prosper. And sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to do in order to get to what we want to do to prosper, right? But that's what this manifestation time is for. Money is coming. Um, you don't have to force it to come to you. It's going to show up. There's some kind of new stability in your life that you literally manifested. And now that you've manifested it, it's time for you to take a step back and enjoy the fruits of your labors. But instead of doing that, some of you are looking at the project and being like, no, that's not perfect. I'm scrapping it and we're starting all over again. Five of Pentacles. There's like this lack mentality. And maybe it is money. Maybe you're not seeing that the universe is providing for you or that you are being supported right now and that you hustling and hustling and hustling and hustling and hustling may not necessarily fix everything for you. I'm actually hearing there's got to be a better way. There's got to be. A, so I feel like some of you have actually been saying that to yourself. There's got to be a better way. I shouldn't have to feel like this. I've been working so hard and I'm exhausted and I've been manifesting this and, you know, now I have this new thing in my life, but now I have to like keep, like upkeep it, keep it up. 
And maybe that's where you're feeling the lack. Then we have the star and we have the two of swords. So some of the decisions, some of the decisions that you have to make, Cancer, um, it's almost as if you're 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 not seeing the blessing behind it. You're not seeing the blessing behind the fact that something might not have worked out because you manifested something else. It's really interesting. This energy is can work for you in so many ways, in really, really big ways. But if you are not allowing this energy to work for you, and it's something that you're having to force, it's going to be harder to get. It's going to be a lot harder to get. I thought y'all were doing pretty good. And you are. That's the thing. Is I don't feel like you're seeing it. I just don't feel like you're seeing how well things are actually turning out for you. And maybe it's because this was like a last resort and you're kind of like in a woe is me state because you're like, I mean, this is what I had to do in order to get this. So you manifested it, but it, it's not your favorite situation to be in. Let's see what the four of swords is. Because I feel like in between all the hard work and the moving and shaking and the things that you're manifesting and everything you're getting done, if you're not resting, if you're not taking time out for yourself, <laughs> somebody else is taking some time out. So then we have the Queen of Pentacles on the Four of Swords. So you've got an Earth sign around you, possibly a Virgo with the Magician over here. Um, it may be that you are healing from something with this Virgo and you that's what you had to scrap and start all over again and that's why this is not it's almost as if all of this like good stuff is happening to you but there's an undercurrent of a negative emotion or a negative feeling you know what i mean it's like you can't 100 percent be excited about everything that you've manifested coming to you yeah because it you're not ex <laughs> oh my heart so we have the Four of Cups on the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you want to be excited about the stable things that are happening to you right now, but there's this apathetic nature to it because there's some kind of underlying or like undercurrent of negative energy that's coming out of all of this, right? Or it was like a last resort or it was that you had to let somebody go and now you're healing from it and so you're starting fresh again and so it's not exactly the most fun thing for you to be doing but the universe is taking care of you so with every with like that huge cloak if you will over your life the universe is like taking care of you right now you're being very very supported in the manifestations that you're doing even if you feel a little cruddy about it I mean, I don't want you to feel a lot cruddy about it. Also, this energy can make you feel like crap. If you rest, this energy is going to be like, oh, if you rest, this energy is going to be like, um, you're being lazy. Get up. You're not being lazy if you rest, but that's what the energy is going to be. Feel that's how you're going to feel. You're going to be like, oh, my God, why am I just sitting here? I should be doing this and this and this and this and this and this and this. No just relax so we have the emperor on the magician um don't try and control the manifestations that would be manipulation don't try and manipulate the situation i was like fidgeting over here because it made me a little uncomfortable to have to say that to you guys We've talked about the control factor before, where you guys really like to have control over situations, and if you don't have control over situations, you're like the crab on the back going like this, and like you feel totally out of control, right? You feel totally helpless. Your your belly is exposed. If you're if you don't feel like you have, but that's your ego. You could also be dealing with a manipulative Aries. Um, or even an Aquarius that is either not paying attention to you or 
either you're trying to manipulate the situation and gain, gain control. This, in this form right here together, that's manipulation at its finest. When you put these two energies together, the magician and the emperor, that would be like a magician in reverse. If I did reversals, that's what the magician in reverse would be. You wouldn't even need the emperor. But with the emperor on there, there's some kind of manipulation that's happening here. And it could be from an emotional standpoint. Somebody could be emotionally manipulating you or materially. See, it feels over here. If this earth sign is emotionally manipulating you, and when I say that, I mean they're saying things like, um, my whole life will be over if, if, you, if you're not with me, or if we're not friends, I have no one, those kinds of things. It could be like a family member that's, that, that says, but we're blood related, that kind of thing. Like that's an emotional, you should, you should feel bad for me because we're blood related, or, or you should be on my side because that's an emotional manipulation right there. And um, some would even call it emotional abuse, depending on what your situation is. So don't fall for it. And if you're the one that's being emotionally manipulative, I mean, I don't want to go there. I have seen it happen before where um, you guys ha can have a tendency to do that, but it takes a lot to get you there. It takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to get you there. I just don't, if, if there, if the scales, oh, I said I was about to say scales or I was saying scales and justice came out. If the scales are tipped, so there could be a Libra that is making you feel a little bit left out in the cold, or if the scales in this situation, if one is tipped a little bit further than the other, there's, there's that control factor, right? If you're in a situation with another person, because that's what it feels like. It feels like there's a power struggle that's happening here between you and another person. And it could be that the power struggle is the fact that the other person isn't even like showing up, right? With the Four of Swords, they're not even showing up. Five of Pentacles, not even showing up. Four of Cups, not even showing up. And you're trying to live your best life over here and like get everything you've desired and, and heal your wounds and do what you're supposed to be doing. But the person's not there, you know, they're not showing up. That can be emotional manipulation. And if it's a Virgo you're dealing with, they're actually not having a bad time right now. So if, if it's somebody that you're dealing with, whether it's a Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, or Libra, um, I mean, it could be a Gemini too with the magician, but um, whoever it is in your in your life, um, there's no excuse for one person to be controlling the situation. And if you look at me and you're like, but Betsy, I have to control the situation because they never would. They won't control it. I'm like, that's a big, I mean, you don't have to control the situation. What you can do is say, if you're not going to be a part of this with me, I'm walking. Like, there's absolutely no need for, you know what I'm saying there? It's like, there is no reason, there is never a reason to feel like you have to be 100% in control unless it's just you, right? There's nobody, but obviously there are other people involved here. This feels very much like a power struggle that's happening. Yes, huge power struggle. And it has everything to do with what you want to do in your future, it's like you're trying to live your best life. You're trying to heal, like I said, right? And then we have the five of wands. And you have the peanut gallery all over the place. And it could be anyone. And maybe the one person that you do want to get advice from, they're not even showing up. But that five of wands, you know, it's like when you're trying to live your best life and that five of wands shows up, that means everybody else has an opinion about how you're living. So I can understand if you need to have control over that, but your control over that means you remove yourself from this peanut gallery. All of those opinions and stuff, you don't have to listen to them. I don't care who they are, but it's my mom, but it's my sister, but it's my husband. You look at them and you're like, I appreciate your opinion, but I'm going to do it this, I'm going to do it my way. That's being health. 
in a healthy control situation, that's what you do, right? And here's the thing is I think that you're totally ignoring the fact that you have been fighting for somebody to show up for you. It's like, okay, so we have the nine of wands and the page of cups on the two of swords. It's like, how much more do I have to do for you to notice me? Take the blindfold off already. I think that you need to make the decisions from here on out just for yourself, Cancer. Try that. Like, let's do an experiment. Let's have an experiment for the next month. We'll talk about it. I'm going to make notes after I get done with this video so I remember to ask you about the experiment. Um, I want you on a daily basis to, you know, I mean, minus, like, of course, if you have children and stuff like that, you have to, if the ones that are minors and you have to make decisions for them, that's not what I'm talking about. All the adults in your life, you are only making decisions based on what you want regardless of anybody else in your life. I don't care if you're married to them. I don't care if you are their twin. I And I mean like twin sister, twin brother. I mean, yeah, twin flame also. But I don't care who it is in your existence or in your life. Every single day, the decisions that you're making minus the child, like you have to make the decision for the children. But focus on yourself, Cancer, for the next month until your next reading. until your October reading and see how that goes. And then I'm gonna ask y'all how it went. Because focusing on yourself and no longer trying to fight or vie for the attention of people that just simply don't give a shit. If they gave a shit, you wouldn't be miserable. If they gave a shit, you wouldn't be in this apathetic Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Four of Cups, State of Mind, right? So this transformation, wow, the Death card, the Fool, and Temperance. This transformation that you're going through is, is your, it's like a risky thing. Maybe this experiment, maybe this experiment is going to bring on that transformation. And it's almost as if you're going to have to be vulnerable enough to open up to yourself this month and start to balance out your own heart and your own mind without everybody else's opinions, right? Regardless of what people say, page of wands, three of pentacles, and three of wands, you need to be able to look out into your future and see the building process of it and be able to express it in a way that you're excited that page of wands is somebody who's excited. He's a messenger. He's a messenger to kings and queens. He comes and he gets very excited about the messages he's giving. You want to be able to talk about your projects and the things that are going on in your future in an excited kind of way and be able to open yourself up to possibilities without the cackling hen syndrome, without the peanut gallery, without the people trying to block you from all of the things that you're trying to do in your life. You don't need it. And this earth sign, whew, page of pentacles, how much are they actually giving you? Doesn't have to be an earth sign, could also be a fire sign or a water sign. How much are they actually giving you? They're not giving much to you, right? Um, and then there you are with your page of swords. I feel like this is, I feel like I need to say, say what you need to say, and then don't say anymore. That page of swords on the chariot. Say what you need to say, and then don't say anymore. Even if you have to cut somebody down, and I don't mean like make them feel like shit or make them feel like crap or anything like that. I mean, stop them from intruding into your personal boundaries and your personal space, right? I mean, I get it. I understand. I feel your pain. But it's time to focus on yourself. And the more you're focusing on yourself, the harder it is to focus on other people's lives 
And because you want to be able to heal and fix everybody. But the thing is, is you get into their lives and you heal and fix everybody all the time and you forget about yourself. That's why I'm saying you guys are so, it's Virgo energy and Cancerian energy is so similar because we do a lot of the same things. Um, but if you don't, if you don't focus on yourself and you focus on somebody else and trying to control their actions, you can't control the actions of somebody else. It just isn't. It, so focus on yourself. That's the big lesson. Don't do the power struggle, which is what I'm going to call this reading. I love you guys. 20% off of all my personal readings. There's also the $30 one question readings available. $30 for 10 minute video recorded reading. Um, only a few necklaces left. If you haven't gotten a necklace, they will not, these will not be made again until probably either closer to the holidays or after the first of the year. Um, so, and there's only like four left. So make sure if you want to get a necklace, they're Reiki infused, handmade, 20% um, off the readings, 20% um, off my coffee mugs and my t-shirts. Some of those are going to be discontinued. So if you want to get a t-shirt, make sure you're doing that. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the support. Have a good September. Bye.